it. I will not let you stand in my way! So the game is finally done with insulting our intelligence here. It's revealed that Clive and Ifrit are in fact one and the same. Of course, uh, I'm not entirely sure that the... It seems as though the... The dominance and the icons are two separate individuals, or two separate beings that sort of inhabit the same body. But, I mean, you know what I mean. Clive is Ifrit, and the person he's been... Hunting, like he was the one that transformed into this monster and supposedly killed his brother. Now, I don't believe his brother is actually dead. We've seen somebody who's probably Joshua. But, you know, Clive has been hunting himself, basically. And that's a little bit depressing for him when he's going to realize that. <laughs> now, I do see a little bit of a difference between... Uh, between the different people and the icons that they turn into. Sometimes they seem to have a degree of control over it, like Josh what seems to have had some control over his transformation. Uh, the guy who turned into Titan seems to have had control over himself. Oh, uh, uh, Benedicta here does, even though she was kind of out of her mind, Garuda here, like Clive said, like you're just a monster. Like you're, you know, like Benedicta doesn't seem to be in here anymore. She has just been completely taken over by the violent creature that we're fighting here. And same thing goes for Clive. Clive turned into a freak and beat the piss out of his brother. And like, well, there's nothing you could have done to stop that. And it seems like he's out of control here. So once Clive turns into an icon he loses himself as well so how much of a how different is he really than benedicta here i guess the difference comes down to the fact that in their human form he is less of a monster <laughs> than she is but uh, you know we did see something though after clive had taken Gruda down and stabbed her in the eye and cut off one of her talons. She fell down the side, and then she climbed back up and sort of regenerated. Now that's something that seems to be like a feature like of these icons. When when uh, Ifrit back in the beginning of the game had beaten the hell out of Phoenix, Phoenix sort of like recovered had regained all of its HP. Now, at the time, I was thinking that maybe that was just sort of an aspect of the Phoenix, because a Phoenix is a firebird that dies and is reborn. And, like, oh, this is just some sort of uh, reference to that or manifestation to that concept. Oh, look at all of this. This is crazy. 
This game is jammed full of spectacle. But we saw it happen with Garuda. I was stabbed out, Talon was cut off. But as she climbed up the side, those parts just sort of regenerated. So how much damage do you have to actually inflict on an icon to kill it? Now, if I'm correct and Joshua is still alive, then Ifrit didn't do enough damage to Phoenix to kill it. Oh, look at this. Titan has an arm torn off. But, you know, those kinds of injuries seem to be only kind of temporary. Let's watch this. Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! Too nice is your problem.
bloody mess this. you've been chasing. It was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. Why did you have to listen to him? Benner! This can't be what you wanted, can it? 